Drill Sergeant. Drill number seven. It's direction, not deception. Again, another nugget for a fiery trial. It's direction, not deception. A jewel being collected by God. The Holy Spirit guides gently and directs God's children. Romans 8 and 14 tells us, As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. When He, the Spirit of truth, is come, He will guide you into all truth. For He shall not speak of Himself, but whatsoever He shall hear, that shall He speak. And He will show you things to come. He shall glorify Me, for He shall receive of Mine, and shall show it unto you. The Spirit will lead you, but Satan will drive you. When in the middle of a trial, it is important to seek direction from the precious Heavenly Father before you make a move. We need to get into the Word to have our minds renewed. But we must still rely on God for direction. The Word warns us of Satan's efforts to deceive and to tempt you to act on impulse. Ephesians 6 and 11 says that we are to be suited up with God's full armor in order to stand against the wiles of the devil. His tactics involve trickery, deception, and counterfeiting. Revelation 12 and 10 describes Satan as an accuser of the brethren. He will use a bucket of truth to infiltrate or to get you to believe a bathtub of lies. Remember, our enemy is a great counterfeiter. He has a counterfeit for every truth. The Word of God guides us to rest in the wonderful fact that he is God and is in control. Satan says, Open yourself for direction from the spirit world by passivity or a state of deliberate inactivity as you wait for an audible voice to tell you what to do. But the Word of God tells us the Holy Spirit is the one who energizes and strengthens us in times of great need. But Satan says, go forth with fervor in the zeal and energy of your self-life. After all, God gave you a brain. The Word tells us, the Son has set us free at Calvary, and our victory lies in abiding in Christ, dying daily to the flesh. Satan says, Get away from the cross. It's morbid, bloody, and negative. He will do whatever he can to tempt you to take your eyes off Jesus and to lose direction. He'll tempt you to use your own solutions for the fiery trials in your life. Why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? He'll tempt you to lose patience and to cast away your hope and confidence. The Holy Spirit leads and directs. Satan deceives and drives. Sometimes we react too quickly. The Holy Spirit said to me, Barbara, I want you to pause. Don't take over the fight. The battle is the Lord's. Keep your hands off of it. When you are trying to help me out, you get in the way and can't hear my orders. I speak many times in the still, small voice, and I'm always trying to guide you. Whatever situation you're in, just pause and wait for the Spirit's direction. When Satan starts to drive you, you will begin to think of what you can do to solve the problem. The devil wants to get you to make a move. 
in Matthew chapter 4, he did the same thing to Jesus. If you are the Son of God, turn these stones into bread. That's what he said. Did he not say that? He said, turn these stones into bread. We have an enemy who is not playing. He's not playing with us. Even though he is defeated. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5 and 8. That as a roaring lion. Your enemy walks about seeking whom he may devour. He is the true lion. Jesus is the lion of Judah. God's word gives instructions. Take the time to get into the word and allow the Holy Spirit to teach you. When you are at rest, the Holy Spirit can tell you what to do. The Heavenly Father can work in an atmosphere of stillness and rest. There is no panic in heaven. Let me say that again. There is no panic in heaven. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Isaiah 30 and 21. Psalms 32 and 8 says, I will instruct thee and teach you in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. The Holy Spirit says, Don't get frustrated. Don't start saying, now, what am I going to do? The Spirit says, calm down, be still. I'm God. I have this thing in control. You can't see the beginning for the end, but I can. Just be still. Then you can hear the orders from the King. Listen intently. For God speaks in the still, small voice. Even as he spoke to Elijah, in all the commotion of the strong wind that broke the rocks, the earthquake, and the fire, God was not in either. Elijah heard God in a still, small voice. 1 Kings 19 and 12 When we rant, rave, and complain, we cannot hear God to receive his instructions because he is mighty to save. Women are so good about manipulating. We need to learn how to die to self. We try to manipulate our folk by finding ways to maneuver and fix things up behind their backs. The enemy rejoices when we try to do something or to make a move that is not directed by the Spirit. He told Jesus, jump off the temple. He had nerve, didn't he? The devil will distract you to get your mind on the circumstances. But the Spirit of God will guide you saying, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. He will ask you to lay down your life so your family can live. He may say that if you're irritated with your friend, you take the low spot. Let him cleanse you and then he will deal with that person. If you want your harm to be revolutionized, just be the first to say, oh God, do a work in me. Jesus, take my flesh to the death. I want to die daily. I want to reckon myself dead so that your life might flow through me. Sometimes in our households, you might be a little uneasy about things. Maybe there's a disagreement so your flesh begins to take over. I believe the enemy prays on that type of situation. Where there is division or arguments, the enemy can make a mountain out of a mole hill. Sometimes a minor disagreement can end up in a big upset. 
And you can't even remember what you disagreed about. How often does that happen? <laughs> the enemy has gotten ground because we gave it to him with our big mouths. We need to ask God to do a work in us. It is all right if people don't see things our way or if our feelings get hurt. Say, I'm available to you, Jesus. Let your life flow through me. You will have a new reserve to draw from. You are a new creation. And you can live out of the new. Aren't you tired of your old flesh? Barb died 2,000 years ago. Why can't she stay dead? Maybe you have strayed from the vision or revelation that God gave you. You have allowed yourself to become sidetracked by good activities, social issues, or self-love. Busyness can draw you away from God and cause you to lose direction. But God says we need not stumble in darkness. He promises to give us directions for living. John 10, 4, 5, and 27. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from them, for they know not the voice of the stranger. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Don't lose your first love. Don't allow things to crowd God out of your life and cause the word to become unfruitful in you. God wants to deliver us from selfish motivation and to direct us by his spirit. Hallelujah! A nugget of gold for fiery trials. It's direction, not deception. Drill Sergeant.